Okay, I wanted to talk about clearing decimals when you're working with equations. So let's look at some decimals. 11.9, 52.75, and 9.355. Okay, it's important uh, to know what the digit means when you're um, counting away from your decimal. So if it's one digit over, it's tenths. You can write 10. Two digits over, it's hundredths. So write 100. Three digits over from your decimal is thousandths. Okay, the way to clear our decimal is to multiply, for example, this is one digit, so you'd multiply by 10, and you would, uh, your final answer would be 119. 52.75 two digits away from the decimal is hundreds so multiply by 100 and your final answer would be 5275 so you've cleared your decimal here and finally three digits away from your decimal you multiply by 1000 to clear the decimal or clear the decimal and it would be 9355 Okay, so it's important to know how many digits are away from your decimal. Tens, tenths, hundredths, or thousands. So how is this going to help you when you're uh, performing, a, a, when you're solving your equations? Let's look at a few. 0.4x plus 2.9 equals 1.5. Okay, by looking at this, uh, we see that we're one digit away from our decimal here in the first term, the second term one digit away, and the third term one digit away. So with all of these we multiply by 10. Okay, when we multiply by 10 we have 4.4 .4 times 10 is 4x plus 2.9 times 10 is 29 equals 1.5 times 10 is equal to 15. So now we can um, solve our equation and we're not working with decimals and it doesn't affect our final solution. It just makes it a little bit easier. So let's look at another one. Negative 4.55x plus 1.95 equals negative 11.1. Okay, we look at each term and the highest number of digits away from our decimal is 2. Here we have 1, but the highest number of digits away from the decimal is 2. So we need to multiply each term by 100. Okay, so two digits, so that would give us 455x plus 195 equals, and then two digits away from our decimal is negative 1110, 1110. And again, we can solve our equation it's going to be a little bit easier and in the end it's not going to affect our solution. Let's do one more. 0.5x plus 2.15 equals 1.503. Okay, to do this we examine each term. We're one digit away from the decimal in the first term two digits away from the decimal in the second and three digits away from in the third. So to um, clear the decimal we need to multiply by a thousand because this is our largest uh, the number of digits away from the decimal. So one thousand here, one thousand here, and one thousand here. So when we do this it's 0.5 times one thousand is 500x plus 2.15 times 1,000 is 2,150 equals, 
and we have three digits here 1503 okay and we've cleared our decimals and we're ready to solve our equation alright so that's how you clear decimals that's it for now